just taking a lovely stroll through the neighborhood and I look up and what do I find but a full moon full moon I should troll for Wahoo in the morning that's what I should do Last bit of the moon. Hey, Biana. What are we gonna catch today? Wahoo! Wahoo! As you were filming, there was a huge pelican. Ah, uh, yes, the pelican. Probably wondering what we're doing out here so early. So much easier with two people. <laughs> stop? No, you never stop when we're high speed trolling, even when there's a big fish on.
the one, baby. See, this is the weight that's gonna keep it down on the troll. like four knots. down to like just idle as long as we're driving straight we'll be okay I hope it's not a shoe oh man all right you're reeling in the next one Nice black fin tuna. Should be okay. What? We should be okay. I can't hear you. No. Net, 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 net. Yes! That's a fatty. <laughs> Dang! Yes! Gonna let him bleed out in there.
All right, turn the aerator on real quick. Awesome. Man, that rod almost shot out of my hand when I grabbed it. It was like, whoo! I was like, ah! I wasn't ready for so much pressure. That explains why we haven't been catching anything. Where's the other two? Oh, something must have bit it off. That must have been our Wahoo right there. Back off, bro. Oh my God, this poor seagull is probably terrified. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna try to scoop them in the net and then I'm gonna throw the towel on top of them. Come here, birdie. Oh, his little paddles are trying to get away from us. Poor guy. He, he probably thinks we're trying to eat him after that freaking bird tried to eat him. Yeah, whip us closer to him. Uh, almost like we're gonna run him over. It'll be fine, he's he'll swimming get swimming in circles. Yeah, you want him to be in the front of the right off the bow and then Yeah, perfect. All right, slow down. Oh. oh, he's got some little biters on him. Should we give him a piece of tuna? <laughs> I don't think he would eat the tuna right now. Hmm. That's true. Should we give him a piece of tuna? All right, can you hand me the uh, fillet knife? Thank you. He'll get a premium cut. Oh, he's trying to escape. I'll just give him like a little. Oh, he can turn his head like all the way around. 
he grabbed the tuna. I mean, if he's been out there for a long time, ow. Did it hurt? Nah, but. <laughs> he got me that time. Does it hurt? I want the tuna. Can you put him back a little bit just so I can grab the tuna? Maybe he's trying to figure out what it is. Come on, let your tongue touch that. He might have a broken wing. Is he worth like taking this somewhere? Yeah, we can bundle him up and just put him under the deck and then we can bring him somewhere later. Why don't you put him in the um, bay? bay? Oh, in the aerator? Oh my gosh, chill buddy. Oh, don't. Try to get his head out so he can at least see what's going on. Oh, he's on his back. Oh, poor guy. No, I don't think so. I bet he can taste it. That's a fine sushi grade piece of tuna he's got in his mouth. All right, we'll give him some darkness, I think. Maybe he can relax in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, there's fish being marked on the bottom. All right. What if he gets seasick? <laughs> I think he has bigger problems right now. Perfect. So. All right. Now we're ready. <laughs> oh, look, there's a nice fish right there. Huh. I can't believe that Frigga bird was going to eat him. Frigabirds are so big when like you see them up close, you, their beaks are like... It's... Did it hurt when he bit you? No. It, Not it, at all? No, I don't even think it scratched me. What is that bird that I found the one at one time? Oh, the cormorant? Yeah. That one hurt when that one bit me. Oh really? It bit you? A couple times, yeah. Only because I was like trying to make him a really nice bed and wrap him up. It's a cool looking little sailboat. Um, 
Yeah, do you guys have water access or do I have to drive there? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I can do that. How, how long are you guys open to? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll probably be home in like an hour and then I can ride over. I'll, I'll give you a call again. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, bye. Oh, you want to get the bag? Look at all these good deeds we're doing today. Multiple good deeds of the day. <laughs> we will come back for the Wahoo. Wrong button. I... Hold on, I pushed the wrong button again. Is that the bird's transportation vehicle? Yes. Put him in a nice ice slurry. Some more water in there and some more ice. Back, back to find the bird. Bird. Birdie. Transportation box activated. What's the place that we're going to, Paul? Um, I think it's called Florida Keys Bird Refuge. Refuge? I think it's time for him to take a nap while we bring him somewhere. A 
bird in a box. <laughs> Well, well, well. He looks presentable. He looks presentable, baby? Good. Well, this is his new home, I guess. Yeah, one last little goodbyesies. Adios, bird, with your cute little flippers and innocent beak. All right, let's go. I don't want them to think we're crazy. I'm showered and fresh. The best feeling after being on a boat. So I just dropped the bird off with Beata, and it turns out they told me that it's a, a laughing gull. So I guess your average seagull. I kind of had a feeling it was a seagull, but I thought it looked a little off. And the reason is it had a white head and a black beak, which I guess means it's a juvenile or a baby, a cute little baby. And when they get older, they get the white head and then an orange reddish beak. So. That's why it didn't totally look like a seagull, but it actually is. It's a laughing gull, and they put it in an incubator, and I think they'll take care of it. They're going to let me know what happens to it. You know, I donated them some money, and it seemed like a really nice place. Everyone there was super friendly. So, fingers crossed that the little, the little laughing seagull makes it. They're going to let me know when when whatever happens, whether it makes it or doesn't make it, or if they release it, they're gonna give me a call and let me know. So, whenever that happens, you know, probably in one of my next couple videos, I'll leave an update. Unfortunately, didn't catch a wahoo. I've gone out two times now on the hunt for the wahoo, but it's elusive. But that's okay, because I'm not gonna give up. I'll be going out there again real soon. And I'll hunt that sucker down. And now it's time to make some sushi. Oh yeah. Also, if you live in Key Largo, or at least in the Key Largo area, um, when I finally do catch this Wahoo, I'm probably gonna have way more fish than I could ever eat, that Beata and I could ever eat. So hit me up, Heiko, at SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Shoot me a message um, so I can have you I guess in my inbox and um, hopefully when I do catch this wahoo I can send out a message to a couple people and give out some nice fat chunks of fish. So here's my little couple things to make sushi with. Um, where's the rice? Yeah the first thing we're gonna want to do is make the rice. Uh, so I'll get that started Instructions are pretty simple. Combine one and a half cups of rice with two cups of water. Bring to boil and simmer. And that's it. I'm also going to add rice vinegar to it. It gives it a little bit of a flavor and I think it makes it a little more sticky. And that's what we're looking for. We want a nice sticky rice to make our tuna sushi with. This tuna's been in a nice ice bath for about an hour and a half now. Seems like there's still blood coming out of them. I'm gonna try not to make too big of a mess here. Hopefully Beata doesn't see this. There we go. The juicy black fin tuna. Can't even get them in the frame here. There we go. Like a true beauty. Oh, 
All right, let's get him filleted up. There's the water and the sushi rice. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of this rice vinegar. Just a tiny bit. I will also add some salt. Um, yeah, and that's it. Perfect. So we'll bring that to a boil, and then once it's boiling, we'll take it off the heat and let it simmer. All right. Okay, so I cut that, cut that part. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this. This previous cut here is from when I tried feeding the bird earlier. I mean, I kind of knew the bird wasn't gonna just eat something out of some stranger's hand, but I thought maybe if it was starving, it would have. Ah. Okay, cut that there. This is like a butterball turkey. This style. This is a really tight, it's hard to work in these tight, <laughs> tight spaces here. All right, there's one nice chunk. And there's a couple little sushi grade pieces left in here. There we go.
Nice. All right, that looks good. Flip sides. Flip the, flip the whole damn creature again. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be careful not to cut any of the organs on accident. You wanna, last thing you wanna do is puncture an organ and Paint your beautiful filet. Okay, I won't lie. I, I didn't do the best job here with the filet, but luckily, all I have to do is give it a little shave here. A little shave. I can wow look how beautiful that piece is I'm about to eat that as an appetizer <laughs> I could probably get one more nice shave out of here Go right to the bone just there we go just a perfect piece I'm gonna save the belly for um, deep dropping bait. Should we look in the stomach? Yeah, let's look in the stomach, come on. I'll do it over the trash can. That looked like a piece of squid. Little fish. Can't tell what they are. A squid pieces. That's all in his stomach. All right, so let's start with this bad boy here. First thing we're gonna wanna do is kinda cut out this center piece of dark red meat. Just like that. And then you want to shave both of these pieces off of the skin. And I just do that by running my knife right in 
along. This is a lot easier on a big, big tuna. I mean on a smaller tuna. Okay, almost done. There we go. The meat has been taken off. So then, you see this really red meat right here? Let's put it in the light. This is a nice light meat, and then this is a red meat. We're gonna wanna shave away the red part. Just cut all the, the little red bloody pieces just right off of it. Make sure there's no bones. No, nothing. We want nice, clean pieces. There we have it. A perfectly fresh, clean cut piece of tuna. There we go. Another exquisite fine piece. And you know what? I'm thinking it's time for a little bit of an appetizer. Yes. Why don't I just shave myself off a little piece here? Also have some got some shavings here. I'll add this bad boy to our plate of deliciousness. I'm gonna save all these leftover chunks because I'm going to mix them in with my yellowtail oats next time I go yellowtailing and give my oats a real nice fishy punch when it comes floating down towards them. All right, little intermission break. Let's see how this sushi is. Got some wasabi here on the side and some soy sauce. I'm telling you, you couldn't get better sushi at a store. I don't care where you go in the world and how much money you pay, you just can't really get better than this. It just melts in your mouth. It literally melts in your mouth. Like, I don't even need to use my teeth to chew it. I just squish it and swallow that's what she said
Sushi seaweed. All right. I think my first sushi roll is going to come out a little messed up, I bet. <laughs> Just going to cut a nice chunk of tuna off here. some cucumber. I just have to remember how to roll these up. There we go. I'm just going to cut the ends off to make this thing look super presentable. <laughs> Oops. I'm not going to lie, this piece of sushi looks a little droopy. <laughs> Tastes pretty good though. You want to try one of these sushi pieces? I'll make a couple more rolls. So you're saying I should try it? Mm hmm. It was the wasabi. Mm. No, right here? Use. Oh. It's okay, I can just use what's in there. They look funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got some wasabi in there. Is that like extra, extra spicy? <laughs> no. Extra strength wasabi. I don't think so. I put such a little amount on it. <laughs> All right, now I gotta bust out a few more rolls. This next roll is definitely gonna be much more of a masterpiece. And bigger. 
Got to figure out how to roll it. I think I just found out the key to rolling these things. Just have to like roll it with the wood. Please. Another one bites the dust. Another log. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. 